If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know not all sports books are the same. In this video, I'm going to break down the three main types of sports books. At the end, I'll go over which books are considered sharp books and which ones are square books. Now, there's three main types of sports books. The first one, and probably the most popular one, is the new or relatively new U.S. legal sports books like DraftKings, FanDuel, uh, Points bet, MGM, Caesars, any of these books that are offered in a state that is legalized sports betting, they all fall under the legal sports books. The next type of sports book would be what's called offshore sports books. These books are uh, where most people who live in a state that is yet to legalize sports betting most likely bet. Um, some of the popular offshore sports books are Bavada, Bet Online, uh, Bet Us, or Bet US, I should say, My Bookie, many more too. Um, these are sports books that are located outside the United States, mainly in like places like Costa Rica or where gambling laws are very lax and loose. Now, the third type would be betting with a bookie. Um, you know, maybe a friend knows a guy who takes bets and you pay or collect weekly through a bookie. Um, and this is a good option to have because you don't have to deposit money up front. But those, in a nutshell, are the three main types of sports books. Legal books, offshore books, and through a bookie. Now, out of these three different types of sports books, some are considered sharp books and some are considered square books. Sharp is a term used to describe smart, well-informed bettors, and square is basically the total opposite. Now, how a sports book gets labeled sharp or square comes from a few factors here. The main one being the type of clientele the sports book caters to. Also, the max bet limits a sports book offers. Um, and how they manage their risk. DraftKings CEO openly admitted that he only wants losing betters, and they continue to ban winning betters or sharp betters. Um, of course, the offshore sports books like Pinnacle, Bookmaker, Circa, Bet Online, they're all considered sharp books. They have high per bet limits, which attract sharp betters, and they use sharp bets at their books to make their lines even sharper. Majority of U.S. legal sports books will ban sharps or severely limit the amount they can wager on a game, which is basically banning them without actually banning them. Uh, they don't use sharp bets to mold their lines. They simply copy line moves from the sharp books. Now, it's funny to see, too. I love seeing pick sellers post bet slips with big amounts on these um, square books. They think... You know, showing they think it's showing off, but they're not realizing anyone who's allowed to bet on these uh, U.S. legal books that big uh, has definitely been profiled and labeled as a square, and is probably down lifetime pretty big. But now to wrap this up here, my top three sharp books and top three square books. Um, sharp first, Pinnacle, Bookmaker, Bookmaker and Chris are tied because they're basically the same book, uh, and then Circa. Um, for square books, basically every U.S. legal book, but the top three, in my opinion, are DraftKings, PointsBet, and then anything involving William Hill sports books, which is now be Caesars or 888 Sports. Now I'm going to stop here. Hopefully, you found this video informative or helpful. Until next time, good luck with your bet.